of St. Patrick's Day. The Obamas imported the tradition from Chicago where rivers are dyed green for the season. There's a big building industry home show happening in Central PA this weekend. One of the displays at the event will be biodiesel and it just so happens to be National Biodiesel Day on Friday. To find out what puts the bio in biodiesel, Fox 43's Drew Anderson is live at Worley and Obitz in Lancaster County. Hey Drew. Hey there, when it comes to biodiesel and bioheat, I feel like I'm kind of in a fog. Well, yes, I'm literally in fog this morning, but I want to know what makes it green. So let me bring in Matt. Matt, what makes it green? It's the soybeans, Drew. I happen to have some right here in my pocket. These are actually soybean seeds, or actually, are they seeds? What is that? Yes, they are soybean seeds. And these get crushed down, and what do they make? They actually turn into a bio uh, refined process. Which oh, let's grab it. Let's see what we got. So this is the building blocks for biodiesel and bioheat. This becomes that. Yes, yes it does. Unbelievable. Yes, it is. All right, so I'm curious. I got to come into this tanker just a short time ago. I want to know what's in this tanker. Hey, Brett, what are you doing up there? Ready to load up. All right, he's ready to load up the tanker. What is he loading it up with? He's loading up with ultra bioheat, Drew. Okay, so that's if you have a furnace, you're going to bring one of those tankers in to heat it up. And that is biogen because it has the soybeans. And what are the advantages of using bioheat? Uh, the two biggest things is it's going to burn cleaner, Drew, and it's going to uh, have less uh, gas greenhouse emissions. Oh, yeah. So, in other words, it's burning cleaner inside and outside. You got some filters? All right, let's check this yeah. out. So, we have what a normal furnace filter or something that would burn regular heat for the house looks like. Uh, wow, that's pretty dirty. Yes, it is. And if you were using ultra bio heat, this is what your filter would look like. Literally night and day. That looks so much cleaner, which has to be a lot better for the furnace itself. And this, as I understand, it's got about 2% soybean in it. You guys that's going in the tanker that Brett's doing right now is more than 2%. Yes, it's actually a 5% blend. So it's going to burn even cleaner than what a typical 2% blend would be. So right now he's filling that up. He's actually pumping it in from those big tankers behind us. And where does Brett go from here? Next, would he'll be out delivering to people's homes to produce and deliver ultra bio heat. Heat it up. Well, you know what? Our winter is coming to an end, so I'm looking forward to the cooler season, but we know this is around for next year. And you guys are at where this weekend if someone wants to learn more? We'll be at the Building and Industry uh, Home Show over at Spooky Nook. Okay, good stuff. Thanks so much. I'm going to go get in here because I think I want to roll out and go to one of these homes where this is going. That is the latest in Lancaster County. I'm Drew Anderson on Fox 43. Oh. <laughs> It's so funny. He can make anything just seem so interesting. I know. He's, I love he's him. great. Well, thanks, thanks, Drew. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, a famous bee is creating quite the buzz this morning. <laughs> Which bee is more famous than the one who loves Honey Nut Cheerios? But there's just one problem. He's actually disappearing from cereal boxes. We'll tell you why coming up after the break. Oh, we're going to need a break. All right. Plus, a modern day retelling of the passion of Jesus Christ is coming to the small screen. Coming up, sneak peek.